Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is all about food. Um, I do have to say I really love food. A little bit too much in the past few months probably. I put on a little bit of weight so what I'm trying to do is lose that excess weight again. So I really love watching all of these what I eat in a day videos. I got a lot of inspiration from them so I thought why not just do one myself and show you what I like to eat when I'm trying to be very, very healthy. I am a vegetarian or rather pescatarian. I don't eat meat, that's something to note. So all of these recipes are gonna be vegetarian, not vegan though. So yeah, if you are interested to see what I eat in a day, then do continue watching. If you like the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be incredibly grateful. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with breakfast. So for breakfast, I had 75 grams of oats mixed in with 200 milliliters of oat milk. I also added a sweetener. You can use whatever sweetener you want, but just to make it a little bit more sweet. I then left the oats soak in the milk for about 15 minutes. Um, just so they get a little bit more creamy and afterwards I just added my berries of choice so I added blueberries I added raspberries and I also went for strawberries I just had all of these lying around at home you can use whatever fruit you want but these were just the ones that I chose to use and I really like the combination so in total, this whole breakfast had around 489 calories, which I think is pretty good. Alright, so let's talk about lunch. So for lunch I decided to have a salad. I have been recently having quite a few salads and I really really enjoyed that. So I'm starting out by adding just normal green lettuce to a bowl and afterwards I'm using quite a bit of spinach. I never used to have spinach because I didn't like the cooked version but nowadays I really like to have it as just normal salad. Here I'm just cutting up a little bit of cucumber that I just had lying around in my fridge so I just added it to the salad and then I cut up tomatoes quite a few of them actually because I really love them also they just add such nice color to the salad so yeah that's me adding quite a few tomatoes afterwards I just added a few kidney beans on top and then I started cutting up some feta cheese, which it's my favorite kind of cheese for salad. I always have it with my, with my green salad. And then a new thing that I started doing, because I saw it in a YouTube video, I'm adding sprouts on top. They're really quite nice. I really enjoy having them with my salad. And for dressing, I'm just using a little bit of balsamic vinegar, just for a little extra taste. On top, I'm also adding one tablespoon of hummus and to finish the salad off, I'm sprinkling a few pumpkin seeds on top. And yeah, that's my salad. In total, it's 400 into kilocalories and I do have to say it is so delicious.
Right, so for dinner, I'm actually having one of my favorite meals. I don't have a name for it, but you will need 300 grams of onion. I'm just peeling the onion. I really hate cutting onion. Um, but fortunately, in this recipe, you only have to cut it into rings. So you don't really have to spend that much time cutting it, which is amazing because I don't have to cry <laughs> when I cut it for this recipe. Yeah, and I'm just putting it aside for later. Then I'm starting on the tomatoes. So I'm using one and a half kilograms of tomatoes, but I'm also cooking for multiple days. So I would suggest if you just want to have it for that one night, divide the measurements by three so you don't have as much as I do. <laughs> but the thing is, I like to eat the same meal over and over again so I don't really mind having the same food in three days in a row. So I'm just cutting up half of the tomatoes to put in a saucepan and afterwards I'm just also putting the half of the onions on top of the tomatoes and after that I'm gonna use 100 grams of feta cheese to yeah just sprinkle on top and basically crumbling it over the onions and now we're just going to repeat the same exact steps tomato onion and another hundred grams of feta cheese and that's basically all of the ingredients you need after that you're gonna cook the mixture for 45 minutes and I like to have pasta with my tomato meal so I just cooked up like a little bit of pasta basically and yeah I'm just topping it with my tomatoes and this meal has 568 kilocalories and I think that's pretty good Alright guys, so this was my video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and that you might give one or two of the recipes a go. I really enjoyed making this video. It was a lot more work because I tried like animations and stuff. So <laughs> I don't know if that, if that turned out all right, but I do had a lot of fun learning these new things. If you liked the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be incredibly grateful. I actually want to say a huge thank you to all of you out there because I've reached 200 subscribers with your help and that's amazing, that's incredible. Like imagining having 200 people out there liking your content enough to subscribe to you blows my mind like imagining the number of people in front of me so I'm so 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 grateful for all of you out there who like my videos and subscribe I'm so so happy and that just keeps me so motivated to make new content and to try new things and to grow as a person on this channel so huge huge thank you really all right so this is the end now i really do hope you're gonna have a lovely week thank you again for watching and i'll see you for next week's video goodbye